Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Buttershots.com series on installing Ubuntu. In the last segment, we created a live CD or DVD, and now in this segment, we're going to use it. Well, currently, I'm in Windows 7. What you want to do once you've created your Ubuntu disk is put the disk in your drive and then reboot your computer. So I'm going to do that now. And when your computer starts to reboot, you should see this image. You see you have a number of options here. Try Ubuntu without any change to your computer. You can go ahead and install Ubuntu. You can check the CD for defects, test memory, and boot from your first hard disk. But we're here to try Ubuntu, so we'll make sure that's highlighted. We'll just press Enter, and Ubuntu will start to load. And now you see, here we are in Ubuntu. Now, I've been playing around in here for a while, so I've installed a few things. Chrome, FileZilla, Pigeon, Dropbox. You can see it's showing the DVD in our drive. And here's Firefox. In general, Ubuntu running from the live CD DVD will detect your internet connection, and you'll be able to browse the net. So now you can play with Ubuntu. You can see all the applications that are installed accessories, games, graphics tools, internet tools, office, sound and video, and you can go to the software center and find other things. So this is a great way for you to be able to try out Ubuntu, and when you're done, you can just close it down, take out the disk out of your drive, reboot your computer, and you're back into Windows. Keep in mind this is a multiple part series, be sure to watch all the parts. Thank you.